Dakra. Those who know me know I like my international horror movies, mainly because of the different cultures and monsters that they can portray, and this is no different. Kind of reminding me of Impetigor, actually, although this film is out of Tunisia, not Indonesia, and reports itself as the absolute first horror movie from the country. That alone is enough to get my attention, but also that it is inspired by the likes of The Blair Witch Project and Paranormal Activity. Dakra is about three film students who try to make a report on the cold case of a woman who was found mutilated but is then locked in an asylum. Their search leads them to the secluded community of Dakra that holds many, many secrets. Now this film is actually a directorial debut as well by Abdelhamid Buchnak. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. He definitely has a unique shooting style. Uh, the film moves a lot between standard shooting and handheld found footage. Uh, it isn't just one genre that way. There are some significant cinematography choices though, like Buchnak stages a lot of the characters on the left third of his shots. It's honestly kind of funny how often this is done. Like, there's a lot of other artsy shots as well. It's all right, a bit too heavy handed at times, but it doesn't hurt the story. As for the acting, I'm not entirely sure since I don't speak Arabic, but everyone fits their roles well, especially Yasmin Damasi as the lead. The story itself isn't bad. It sort of falls into the usual tropes, a jump scare here, a nightmare sequence there, but there are other times where it genuinely surprises me, including scenes of unreliable narrators and blurring the lines of reality and fantasy. It can be a bit slow at times with scenes that feel drawn out, but I think it's worth it. The climax is deliciously dark and gruesome with an actual surprising twist. It does end rather abruptly though, sadly. I feel like it could have gone on a bit longer, and the message at the end about this being based on real events because witchcraft is deadly feels a bit tacked on. But for what it was, this was actually a lot of fun. Some great gore later on, some amateur but interesting shooting techniques, and a decent score and premise that make this a worthwhile endeavor to check out. It's not perfect, and frankly, maybe could have used some more cultural aspects in it, maybe something like Under the Shadow, maybe? But this is a very different film. Frankly, it's a really good directorial debut, and the low budget helps solidify the setting. I feel like a bigger budget may have helped get more gore effects and nightmare sequences in, but hey, make do with what you got. All in all, this is a really good film to check out, and I can't wait to see more of Bushnak's movies. Dakra gets a 7.5 out of 10 from me. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to watch this on Shudder. Completely forgot to mention that. But hey, new movies. I love my international ones. Um, if you haven't seen Under the Shadow, that is really, really good uh, about genies, well, gin and such. Highly recommend that even though it is a bit of a slow burn. Anyway, let me know what else you guys want to see. There's plenty of other films that I like checking out, especially international. I've already mentioned some of the classics I like from Indonesia. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss a video. Follow my Twitter if you want more updates and just general talking to me. Hey guys, you're cool. Thanks. Anyway, have a great day and if you're not, have a better one. See ya. Give me